This is the uh, Prince Nymph. We're going to start with the Mustard S60, size 10. Nymph hook with a 3mm bead on. Um, for the prints I like to use a, a hot coloured thread, red or orange or even yellow sometimes. So we just put this a little bit of thread on the hook shank to there. This is a very popular nymph, a generic nymph, although I think it was originally designed to uh, imitate a stonefly. So get a piece of lead wire, just a short piece. We don't. Uh, we've already got the bead on here, so break that off. There we go. I'll just make a few wraps on that. Push that into the bead if we can. Go back to here. We want a nice. Um, even exchange between the hook shank and the lead if possible. So we go back to about there. Um, what we need is two goose biots. We want to put these not like that. I want them pointing outwards. Steven those up. There we are. We want to be a little shorter than the hook shank. So just put those in position. Yeah, those will do us. There. We'll just tie that down to there. Now I like to keep those on just to go over the lead wire with so the thread doesn't go in between the lead wire all the time. There we are. I'm going to go back. Position the biots as you go. position. This will do us. That will do. So then what we need is a length of oval silver tinsel or gold. I like to match the tinsel to the colour of the bead head. So we'll just put that in on the hook shank and go back. Now we're looking okay there. Good. Then some peacock hull, two strands. Tie that in. Again, go up the hook shank with it. Pull those off. Then what I like to do is just build up a little there behind the head. Straighten the thread out. There we go. Then two white Goose biots, which we cross and we put on top of the hook shank about there. I tie these in the opposite direction. This will keep them from falling off. Yeah, and then we can go back a wee way along the hook shank. trim those off. There we are. We take our peacock curl 
and we put a Heichel plier on it. So we make a few turns here just because we're going to wrap the peacock hill forward. You have to just watch out that your thread doesn't unwind totally and your biots fall off if you're doing it this way. You do get a neater body. Entirely up to you. There we are. And then we just cross this thread over. Tighten up. Like so. And we can remove the peacock hull. Good. And then what I like to do here is just one whip finish. Good. Then we'll wrap our silver tinsel through the body for the rib. Wind up that tying thread. And we'll tie that off. Good. And remove that. There we are. Now, you can use, traditionally, it's a brown hackle which is, uh, is used for the throat hackle, but I like to use a, a partridge. So we'll just attach that in there. I think it's nicer with a, a speckled hackle. And then once there and there. You can get rid of that. Hackle pliers. Then just fold back the fibres like you would do with a, a wet fly hackle. off like so yeah. I see that really works nicely that partridge hackle on that and we just remove the hackle stem oops Then we fold back our bags. Now you can if you want, you can, if you don't want the hackle all the way around. I like it all the way around, but I'll just show you this. You can trim off on the top. So it's more like a, pull it down at the side, so it's more like a throw tackle on the original. Push the biots back. And then we can tie them down. Make a 
a nice hot colour. And then a whip finish. the tying thread and then remove the hook from the vise we turn it around then we take our varnish if you've not seen me do this before this is the best way of varnishing bead heads take a good drop of varnish on your dubbing needle and put it right in the eye and you'll see it disappear under into and under the bead head and you just carry on doing that until it stops disappearing under that there we are that's it and you get a really secure head it all goes in soaks up and you can just go and give the red collar a drop we could turn it around again and then we just put that back that way and that's it the finished Prince variant thanks for watching